You've done a crime and so therefore eye for an eye. What I did, and I'm not happy with what I did, but I told him the whole situation. Like, you just can't win with her. You can't, no matter how hard you try, um, you just can't read into her. She likes him, big brother, and she feels I'm coming in as a threat. I can't trust anything he says, and when I talk to people, I want to be able to trust what they say. here tonight. Yes, it is Big Brother nominations live and last night's Evicti Hot Dogs will be joining us as we witness the household nominate, including the intruders who nominate for the very first time tonight. Plus, we will be experiencing the looming drama of the Lugans three-point twist. Oh my goodness. It's a night full of frightening possibilities. Starting, of course, with the presence of hot dogs, should we ever manage to extricate him from the makeup room. <laughs> All right, quickly, we'd better talk to the house before Hot Dogs gets here and tries to get his head in front of the camera. OK, where are you, house? Oh, Hello, house. Yeah. Hello. Oh, 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 there are more right. girls and boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. <laughs> now, Christy, how are you feeling about that? Huh? Christy? Oh, well, I'm feeling... <laughs> Went to the supermarket this morning as shopper chef. Oh yes. Bought all little luxuries for us all, so we've been pampering ourselves all day. All day. But didn't you Even get your... the men? Oh well, that's a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> didn't you all get your cosmetics back today? Yes. yes. Now what what did you do to get your cosmetics back? <laughs> Wind. No, we we didn't winch. Winch. Oh, best not no, honestly. Didn't. I didn't whinge all week. All right, well, maybe that's why you got your cosmetics <laughs> yeah. back. We put makeup all over Tim today. He looked really cute. Yeah. He looked disgusting. I saw you dressed as a girl today, Tim. <laughs> And you know what? You looked beautiful. Yeah, well, the, the only alarming thing was I think I actually look better as a woman than I do as a man. You know what? <laughs> so it's quite confronting. So Sadly, I'm going to go to early tonight and have a think about that. <laughs> Something think Hold about on, you know, someone else in the house who has to think the Logans. Now, you've got the big three-point twist tonight. Yeah, that's correct. That's a bit scary. Now, I don't want to say anything bad, except that people have ended up nominating themselves as a result of that. They've been, <sighs> wars have broken out, strife has happened. Just yeah. ponder that. While I also ask you, you've gone to the rewards room twice and you've never taken a girl. Yeah. Why is that? Yeah. What <laughs> is Dave's that? a bit scared about that girl. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were scared of girls. I have yeah. the pleasure of girls. Always I always go to say, let's think about taking you like a Dallas Take Dean. So a bit, you know, I don't know what's happening there, but yeah. No, you're it? both Nancy Pants, really we know that. Anyway, we'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Nancy Pants. Well, we've heard him bark, we've seen him bite, now it's time to give his tummy a rub. Would you please welcome the man with a tail and a very cold nose, Vic Dean, number eight from last night, Hot Dogs. <laughs> Really good. Really good. Uh, 
Hi. How are you? All preened and looking beautiful. Feeling good. Had Have a shower without cameras today, so... It was, yeah, what it was, was that it was like? What, now that there are no cameras watching, are you behaving differently? I'm just paranoid that there's, they are there. And yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for one to jump out of the corner. Well, you must be so used to it. And I always am. having a microphone. Do you keep checking? Have I got a microphone on? It's, I'm just waiting for Big Brother. This is Big Brother. It's a $5,000 fine. I'm like, hey, well, I'll chill out. But. Yeah, I wonder how long it's going to take for you to feel normal. You had interviews all day today. All day today. They were fantastic. All right. Love Anything them. in particular? I guess your love for Vesna, which you, of course, don't recognise, but we do. Were they talking about that? Uh, they talked about Vesna's love for me. Oh, <laughs> well, that's the way you'd uh, like no. it, isn't it? No, I do. No, we do. We've got a really good relationship. Um, I, I hope she's she's going to be great in the house. She um, she won't need me in Stop there. being a politician. It's dull. <laughs> oh, Hattie, what, what do you want me to say? No, no, that's cool. I want to know, did you sleep? Um, no. Well, you partied on, didn't I, you? I did party. I did and are your party. friends proud of you, or did they say, gee, you were a jerk in there? Um, gee, you were a jerk in there. No, they loved me. Friends they are the best judges, aren't they? they? They were. They were good. Now, one thing I want to ask you about, because we're about to start the nominations, is what is this conflict between Kate and Christy? Can you quickly summarise? Both of them were attracted to Greg in the house. Correct. Could you feel this vibe? Oh, definitely. Um, and... That's where the conflict begins and ends. Um, and they both want Greg, and I don't think Greg wants either of them. And so. what's so great about Greg? Sorry? What's so great about Greg? Um, he's gorgeous, isn't he? <laughs> don't let Dean hear that, he'll get jealous. Uh, well, I don't think Dean can hear me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because we want to look at that conflict because this event pops up in the bibs and bobs of Christie's week. So let's have a look. The conflict between Kate and Christie over Greg, and then we'll see how she nominates tonight. The reason I've been off standing today is because I've just felt a lot of anger towards me. Yes. Because of? The fact that I feel that you're always watching me when I'm around him. Yep. When I heard you liked him instantly, I put my defences on. I'm extremely territorial and I, hate, I truly hate people cutting my grass and that's... I felt if I said, well, I liked him too, you're not going to go near him. And I wouldn't. Just read and not shut up. I know, I'm, I'm so angry. Oh. I wish I would have seen this in the first couple of days. Oh, no. Oh. You can tell when you're watching, you can tell by your face. <laughs> what do you think of the new housemates? I haven't found many good traits about Mel. You haven't? I haven't seen her personality. I think she's boring. She's boring? She is. She's a very sucky crap. Sorry, but she is. Yeah, she, okay, she is. But she says she's all outgoing and crap. Um, hello, it's been a week. Haven't seen it. One bit of outgoingness. I just find she's the same as Kate, so I don't want to get to know her. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with honesty. I've come out and been honest the last week. Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. I have. For two points for eviction, I'm nominating Kate. Throughout the week, I have found Kate to really look down on me in situations where, say, if I was to, for example, burp, Kate would look at me in such an intimidating way that it would make me feel very awkward, um, make me feel uncomfortable upon the group. And for me, it's affecting me because I want to be in a house where I can be able to do my own thing without feeling uncomfortable. And she kind of forfeits that and it just makes me feel really, really awkward and uncomfortable. For one point for eviction, I nominate Tim. Um, throughout the week, Tim has really been um, much of a person to tell me what to do. And with me, I do have a problem with um, people telling me what to do. And he's just, you know, during the task, he was telling me to do things straight away rather, and I was in the middle of things. And I do have a problem with authority and he has pushed me to the edge. And, you know, throughout the week, I have been frustrated due to that fact. But it just makes me feel really uncomfortable as well because I'm trying to do my thing my own way and having someone always tell you what to do, it's not a good thing to have in a house, especially when this is your home. Now, what do we think about that? Christy, telling it how it is. <laughs> I wonder if she is telling it how it is because I think there could be a tendency in the house for people to find a fairly superficial reason to find to nominate somebody. For example, he's treading on my grass. Was it cutting my grass? Cutting my grass. Mowing my Jim's lawn, lawn mowing whatever he's yeah. doing. <laughs> but that's really what you want to say, but you say, oh, you know, they don't let me burp at the table. That's right. Um, Is that possible? Did you I, do that? I definitely, I definitely think that's what's happening. 
Um, no, I don't think I did that. Or do um, you see any sort of strange relationship between Christy and Tim? Or is she speaking on behalf of Dean? No, I'm just putting it out there for um, us to think about. She's definitely speaking on behalf of Dean. Um, now, do you genuinely feel that or is it just this uh, mystical no, she's, spell I'm No, she's the most easily influenced person in the house. You can just whisper something in Christy's ear and she'll be off doing it within a second. Really? Yeah. That is a fabulous insight. Mm. Thank you. We love her very much. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's, as I said in my message, she's like a little sister, but um, she's very easily influenced. Oh, dear. Well, leaders need followers, I suppose. We'll see what happens next. <laughs> so those nominations did not come as a surprise. We could see them coming from a mile away, really. But not all our housemates share their thoughts the way Christy does. With seven nominations to go, I wonder what tricks will be plucked from their sleeves. <laughs> best feature um, you're just so good looking it'd be hard. it'd be it'd be an insult to um, listen no by. you're just being lazy That's your best feature funny. you're gonna have to stand up oh, I think it's your bum my bum I've been caught perving at it a bit oh, yeah. That's make a wish. wish came true. Welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Nominations Live and I'm sitting here with the Big Brother pup, Hot Dogs. Tonight, of course, is the first night of nominations for our two intruders turned housemates. But before they take to the nomination ring, it's time to watch the two prize fighters, Tim and Dean. They have been slogging it out all week over a very questionable prank, Kanga Gate, as we refer to it. Now, the reverse... Hey mate, did you dob me into the girls for what I did, the reverse kanga? Sure, no. You sure? Yeah. Because what I overheard wasn't that. Because I swore I heard you over talking with someone. Me over talking with yeah. someone? You told someone. I told someone, yeah. yeah. So why dob me in? Because I wasn't prepared to do it, because I think it's disgusting. So why not just say at the start, well listen, I don't know if I agree with this, I'd say something. No, why wouldn't I just enjoy the gag for my, for my own? I think you should I'll tell one of the guys as well. Mate. I'm That's not... just me. Oh. I, because I will. Because I, I, I'd well, appreciate Well, of course that. you will. Well, I'm giving you the opportunity to be able no, to... No, you're not. No, you're not. You're saying you've done a crime and so therefore I for an eye. Well, all I think you're doing mm -hmm. is trying to take some events that have happened and use them to smear me. Mm -hmm. Exactly in the fashion that you have accused me of doing. And the evidence also doesn't support that it had any effect on you in, to in terms of nomination. In fact, this wasn't raised until after, and, and guess who the person was nominated? Me. And guess who wasn't nominated? You. I mean, this is just ridiculous. You do exactly what you want all the time. You never bite your tongue. You're rude to people consistently. You're absolutely dominating all the time. You, you are really, really intelligent. You know exactly what you're doing all the time to gain a result. That's what I think, mate. That you just that you can all think. Well, I think I, you, do. I feel sorry um, for you. I feel sorry I for do. you that you that you are living such a paranoid little world, <laughs> and and crammed into that paranoid world is your own massive ego. Yeah, you so keep bringing up the same point again. You can sit here yeah, and keep bringing it up. What you think you're giving me something fresh to work with? All right. Can you quickly explain? the reverse kanga gate to us? Oh, um, the reverse kanga is when you... Oh, actually, you can't explain it because, I know, I was thinking the politics of it, but you were in the house. I was in the house. So you didn't have the advantage of seeing every room and every conversation as we did. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that is true. All right, so what happened is the boys decided to plot a plot to dirty the girls' toilet. Correct. Dean did it first, then scissors, paper, rock. The next person selected was Tim. Timmy. Now, Tim was opposed to doing this. Instead of actually doing what he was supposed to do, according to the boys, he went and told Kate. Grasped us. He said to Kate, please don't tell anybody. Kate then went and told Christy. <laughs> Best mates. Christy then went and told Dean. <laughs> Dean then went and told Tim. 
and thus the war has begun. All thus over the toilet. war has begun. But you sided with Dean on that, didn't you? Um, yeah, you no, I, I didn't write it. it. Well, tell us what, what you're talking about. Well, look, Timmy made a promise with the boys. Whether, whether or not I agreed with the reverse kangaroo is irrelevant. He made a promise to the boys and he, uh, he went and sided with the girls. And I, I didn't like it. I didn't rate it. And I told Timmy I didn't rate it, but I rate him. And um, seeing that footage was really, really interesting because I hadn't, hadn't seen that before, Interesting obviously. in what way? What did you learn? I just love watching Timmy go about his business. He's just so cool and calm. He's good. He's very, very good. But, I mean, and he's he articulate. gets under Dean's skin. They get under each other's skin. Yeah, but he handles it better. Who? Tim does? Tim does. Well, you were the fan of Dean. Why weren't you I'm a fan, a fan of, of Tim? I'm a fan of both of them. I'm good friends with both of them. That's what made that whole situation so hard because they'd both come to me and start talking and I'd say, look, Tim, you know I rate Dean. Dean, you know I rate Tim. You know, I'm happy to listen to you, but it's not going to go anywhere with it. So, But I brought it up with Timmy. I let him know. And um, oh, Timmy's good. I well, just, it's the first time I've seen that. Very interesting. Well, now we've got to see if it affects their nominations. So let's have a look at Dean. We'll have a look at his week and see who he nominates. For two points, Big Brother, I nominate Tim. Um, I nominate Tim because of the lack of trust that I have for him. Um, the lack of trust has come from a few different examples, one being a uh, practical joke where um, he tried to make me look bad by dobbing me in and uh, lying that he'd done it. And um, another thing that he said, which was that he was willing to forego all of his dignity to get centre stage in the house. This affects my time in the house because I cannot trust him. I shouldn't have to think about what, I'm, what, I, what I have to say in the house on who's around and what I should say in front of him um, so that he can make me look bad. So that's why he gets my two points. For one point, I nominate Rita. Uh, I nominate Rita on the basis that... Um, she just doesn't listen. She talks too much. A prime example of that is every conversation. Um, this affects my time in the house because it feels like um, I'm having to sit there and listen to everything she says and everything that I talk about, which is important to me, um, is, is not listened to. So therefore my conversation time with her is pointless because it's just me listening and, and not talking. So. Uh, that affects my time in the house because I want to have equal relationships with people in the house and it doesn't seem I have that with her at the moment. Uh, for two points for eviction, I nominate Dean. Um, you know, last week he's running around telling people that I was um, trying to get him nominated by participating in a harmless practical joke that we do all the time here and I just can't believe he actually loves himself enough to think that I was doing it for that reason. I think he was actually misinterpreting events on purpose and um, so that I would get nominated. Um, I just thought that was disgraceful. Um, and that I should have to defend myself to other people because he's running around lying to them um, makes me really angry. And especially when he starts running around telling people um, things about me which I find very hurtful and things which are very untrue. For one point I nominate Christy. Um, Christy's had nine weeks, I think, to pull her socks up. Um, we had a task last week and I was on her team. Uh, we were all working as hard as we possibly could and she just seemed to find um, reasons not to do the task, not to clean. And someone's not pulling their weight. It impacts on all of us. And it makes the whole team, everyone in the house, feel down when she, she behaves like that. And she's had nine weeks to snap out of it. You know, she was baker last week. We didn't eat bread a lot of days till two or three o'clock in the afternoon when most bakers have got it ready by, you know, 11 o'clock so that we can eat it for lunch and stuff. Um, I just think she's had nine weeks to work on pulling her weight and, and I just makes me really angry when I'm trying to pull my weight in the group and um, make it so that we can all have fun and get the jobs out of the way quickly. And she just drags the chain all the time. Oh, but it's hard to put your socks up when you're wearing Ugg boots all the time. Now, the nomination train has well and truly left the station and there are five more stops to make before we reach the final decision tonight. <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, he'll be spitting on you. <laughs> I got 
Ricochet that. Oh, you see it? Oh, that was me. Welcome back. You're watching Big Brother Nominations Live, and I'm here with the big dog, the top dog, the hot dog, who was evicted from the house last night. Well, tonight we've already seen three naughty nominations, and now it's time for Hot Dog's wife to sort the housemates' washing. <laughs> As one who shares her every emotion and every thought, every moment of the day, I wonder if Beston will find any fluff in the nomination navel. Before she nominates, let's have a look at Beston's week. Whoever wins, take Best because she's been complaining about it. And me. Oh, right, fair enough. Best, <laughs> yeah, win the reward, man. You can't help yourself, can you? No. You can't, can you? You just used to it for action 24 7, aren't you? Sorry. Sorry for being me. Mm. Well, I'm not apologising for being me. Why should you apologise for being you? She's just egging you on, mate. To get what you mean. No, I'm not, Greg. I'm not egging him on. How about you have five people ganging up on you? How would you feel? Sometimes enough is enough. Sometimes I actually do have enough. So male dominated, I can't handle it. You want equality in here? Let me rock off when all you guys rock off. I've been struggling my whole life trying to defeat my, trying to defend myself with And you can guys. see this. I'm sick to death of it. Now why can't I? Why, am I not good enough? Why? Because I'm a girl, and as soon as I buy back, I'm a bitch. Stop staring at me, mate. You're a freak. <laughs> that, freak. I've just noticed, to try and get someone to stop doing what you don't like, you actually ins you go way below the belt and insult him to the lowest level. Don't stare at me and I won't call and you. And that's like, that's Freak. really, that's really Freak. unweak of you, Dave. Freak. That's a really weak, weak It's hurting you because you're staring nature. at me. If it was hurting me, I would have turned away, but it's not hurting me. Oh, that's right. Freak. You're a freak. I nominate Logan David for two points for calling me a freak yesterday in the bedroom. Um, I don't feel that freak it is an appropriate name to call anybody because I feel that it singles that person out from the rest of the group. Freak to me means ugly, abnormal, um, just something really, really ugly. And to make somebody feel really, really ugly in a group like we have here, I think is very, very... Um, I don't think it's a nice thing to do and I feel that that person is trying to push their insecurities onto someone else to make them feel insecure and I don't need to feel insecure here because I feel that enough and he upset me and um, yeah. For one point I nominate Dean because um, yesterday he he was, oh, how can I put it? He was asking me to sort of cut his, to cut his hair, but I didn't feel like he was really asking me. I felt he was trying to manipulate me into doing it, and also I think he manipulated me into doing it because he felt that I was going to leave yesterday, which made me feel that I wasn't good enough to be here. Just the way he goes about things, he sort of doesn't ask you, he sort of tells you, and I felt pressured. And when I feel pressured, I tend to usually um, do what the person says because I, I feel I don't know I don't know another way out. Hot dogs. Didn't you want to reach through that television and give her a hug? Give her a big hug and a big kiss. She's beautiful. A big kiss, you see? <laughs> I was right. OK, now, Beth has nominated the Logans. I wonder if they will reciprocate her kind deed. Let's have a look at their week that was and see if we can tell which way the nomination wind will blow. I can tell you something funny. What? She reckons you like her. She does, that's she. Yeah. She, she, goes, she told she me goes, that last night. She goes, he'll never admit it, but he does. So I can feel it and I know when I'm right. She's kidding. Does she think I like her? No, she thinks Dave does. <laughs> that's the only way she can get talking does to she us. really? I go, maybe. Do you want me to try and find out for oh, you? Yeah. She goes, she goes, he wouldn't tell anyone anyway. Also, she's the one sleeping in your bed, mate. I'm not here to control you. I'm not here to oh, no, that, whatever. No, no. So when I get close to you, 
try and accept it a little bit. But you can't tell me to say that, that I'm like that with everyone. So why is it with me? I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the start that when you were first in Navy, you kept coming in and telling us to take your shirt off and touching our bums, and I didn't know you that well. And to see you doing it to my brother, and him not like it, f***ed me off. As much as you meant in a humorous way, okay. now it's a different story. I don't mind you can't touch me because I know this, I know you, yeah, the, the approach you make now, I know you'll be better. I don't like that, Benny. This well, I said you should wear it more often. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that to Vesta, though. Yeah, I know you were. You just was giving a bit of a stir up. Yeah. And I think your brother likes you. Kate's like giggling. Giggle, giggle, and I went, as if Kate kind of knows something. She said, I'd like to go, yeah, just go. Listen, just because my brother doesn't want you, Kate, keep your nose. She. And my fault she's the biggest flirt in these hands. Two points this week goes to Vesna. <coughs> uh, very inconsiderate and arrogant. Um, <clears throat> especially towards uh, our conversations. She feels like she's very narrow-minded. I always have to tippy-toe around what I say just to make her feel happy and always feel wanted and just need and, and craves attention. Uh, if it's negative attention, turn it around back on me. Example, last night, put me in a situation, uh, asked the question about hot dogs. I'd prefer him to be here than her. Either, anyway, however I answered it, I knew she was going to get the upper hand and feel better about herself and, and belittle uh, me. One point for Under the Radar. The reason I nominate Kate this week for one point for being Under the Radar is because I've noticed in the last couple of weeks since Kate's been up for nominations previously two weeks ago, you continue to have a, a conversation with Kate where she then expressed her opinion freely and open-minded on the conversations I would have with Kate. Recently in the last week or so, since she's been up for nomination, she, te she seems now to sit back and listen to what you have to say in a conversation and will avoid an argument or confrontation with myself or housemates. Um, so that's why I think Kate now is sitting back, relaxing and watching what we say and being the person that we listen to. So now we feel a lot more comfortable around Kate, what well, I do, because she's listening to me. So I think she's, you know, sitting back and just biding her time. I think her motivation is, for one, obviously to get, uh, the main one is not to get nominated. I think there was an example a few weeks ago where she expressed her opinion about a topic which got on the other side, it obviously upset um, myself. She, with that argument, obviously brought out another side to herself. So I think her motivation now is to sit back and not get nominated and try and buy her time in the house. Wow. <laughs> now, would you have nominated either of those people tonight? I would have nominated Rita. You would have nominated Rita. And I would have nominated Kate. Why would you nominate Rita? Um, she just talks too much and she doesn't listen. <laughs> now, what does it mean, talking too much? I mean, is she fascinating? Does she have a Talk lot of things of interest that she says? I mean, the only time she stops is to take a breath. <laughs> what sort of things does she talk about? What, what doesn't she talk about? It is unbelievable. I've never met anyone that can... T she talks in her sleep. It's incredible. I'm going, Rita, you've got to wait for us to go to sleep, mate, then it's fine for you to go to sleep. She's incredible. She could talk, really? She'd talk underwater. Now, who was the other person you'd nominate? Um, Kate, for one. Why? Um, for the same reason. Um, I, think, I think she's playing it. I, I do. I've nominated her for the last, I think, two weeks for that reason, and then I would have stuck to it again this week. But, you know, people are in there to win the game. I mean, of is course, there anything wrong, wrong with playing with it, it? And we've got to nominate. Um, yeah. So that's where it would have gone for me. Were you playing the game? I didn't get a chance to, and I didn't play it very well. What, I'm nine weeks wasn't here. enough? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was wondering about There was a rumour, of course, that your friends oh. had spent $100,000. Yeah, no, like, I did wonder where you would have got $100,000. Yeah, well, I sold a few houses. This is how it all started. Telling Rita. <laughs> Good old Rita. What I did said you to say? Rita, it was the only time I actually got a story in while she was in the house, <laughs> and everyone's believed it. I said to Rita, I sold a few houses before coming on the show, got 100 Gs out, gave it to my best mates, and say, every week I'm up for nomination, spend 25. I only thought I was going to go up four times. Hence, I would have been OK. Fifth time, bit the bullet, out the dog goes. So you're joking? <laughs> of course I'm joking. <laughs> well, I was actually going to marry you, but OK. <laughs> when you oh, say no, I'm serious. That's it. <laughs> All right, now that's five nominations down, only three to go, plus the nomination twist. So let's say tally-ho to the tally board and see who's looking like a sitting duck board. on this nominations night. OK, so no runaway leader this week. Three housemates tied in the lead on three points, Dean, Kate and Tim.
followed closely on two points by the Logans and Vesna. Christy and Rita have both picked up a point, and you girl Melanie is so far unblemished, unblemished on the big zero. So coming up, the new warrior princesses of the house take their virgin arrows from the quiver, <laughs> aim and fire. <laughs> You have one hour to make the house spotless. Oh Your time begins now. <laughs> it's disgusting. The results for your keep it clean task are in. You have passed yeah! your big task. She's suspicious of me. I don't know when she's kind of fibbing. Welcome back. We're watching Big Brother nominations live with the pressures rising, the temperature soaring, and the dog sitting next to me is wagging his tail. And now it's time to see our two newest housemates nominated. They've never done it before, so let's have a look at Nurse Rita's week and see what housemate ailment she perceives as chronic or curable. How come you're really mean to, uh, to V when all the guys are around when the guys aren't around you're all sweet? Yeah, see? <laughs> even, even she knows it. Told you. Well, I'll tell you the answer to that. The answer is... Because when the guys are around, no, you feed off them. Yeah, he does. All guys Just do. Just serve it. Because it looks cool, so you've got to try and do things to make it look cool. But when the guys aren't around, you want to be in a good rapport with her. Because <laughs> then you've got no one to support you. Good night. Good night, Dean. Where's my cuddle? Hey? I get a cuddle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're too busy wrapping yourself around the human blanket, Mo. <laughs> the what? <laughs> you think Dean's a spunk, don't you? He's, oh, oh, I love the fact that he's so hot. I love the fact he's got a girlfriend and he's so loyal to her. Yeah. I just love that. Yeah. And it makes him even more adorable. Yeah. I see him... you're just an all-round gorgeous, sweet guy. Yeah. I was like, um, thinking, oh, this poor girl. I could see that you weren't being yourself. Um, I guess it bothered me a bit because I'm thinking, I wish she would just open up because I really want to get to know her. And I knew that I'd keep talking to you and get to know you anyway. Yeah. I know, it took a, it's, it's taken a few days but now I feel like I'm there. So I guess I'm one of those people that I'm just, wherever I go, I'm myself, yeah. I don't get daunted, I don't get intimidated and I can just go in and go blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I guess it's a bad thing in a way because I expect everyone else to be like yeah. that. Okay, for two points this week, I nominate um, Melanie. Um, during the week, she's been so negative and never smiles and, um, that's happened on various occasions throughout the week. And I can't stand negativity. And I can't, especially negativity with people that don't smile. On occasions during the week, Melanie has said to me, you, oh, you're just so positive. You've got nothing bad to say about anybody. Um, I guess she was indirectly saying to me she doesn't like my positive attitude. And I feel that she's jealous of that and wants to be like that and can't be. Um, and it makes me feel guilty being positive around her. What do you mean it makes you feel guilty? Well, because I'm always, you know, bubbling around, um, she gives me a look as if to say, oh, what's wrong with you? Why do you have so much energy? Um, and it makes me feel like I shouldn't be that way when I think to myself, hey, that's who I am, and if you don't like that, then so be it. I nominate Kate for one point this week. I nominate Kate because she speaks um, to me only when she's got no one else to speak to, and only um, if she wants to um, ask me a question. And the rest of the time, she only speaks at me. She doesn't feel, I don't feel like she really wants to get to know me. Um, especially since I've become a housemate. Beforehand, I felt, when I was an intruder, I felt like she was really um, sucking up to me, if you like, because she, I felt that she thought 
or here's someone else I can become friends with. I need new friends in here. Um, so it's changed with Kate since I've become a housemate. And she makes me feel like an object um, in this way. She doesn't make me feel like a person with feelings. Oh, well now of course it's Mel's turn, another one of Hot Dog's girlfriends in the house. And it's time to see if Mel will create hell in the nomination as well. having a bit of a problem with Dean. In terms of like, I feel like he says things just to make me look bad. But I'm more inclined to think, why should I have to put up with people talking to me like I'm a child? Yeah, I just, I've never been spoken to the way he speaks to people. And I just, I can't tolerate it. I feel like Rita has changed. In what way? Just like, I feel like lately she's being a little bit bossy. Hasn't she? I thought I was the only person seeing it. Yeah. I don't get her. I thought I understood her, but now I don't. Well, I have seen a positive side. I've seen her positive side and now I've seen negative. No, I, I think I give great advice. I give real advice. Real I'll tell advice. you how it is. Yep. You know what I mean? Don't beat around the bush and go, well, hey, blah, 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 blah. I just go, well, you either do this or you do this. You know, I am a party animal. I love to go out and party. I love it. Yeah. But in here, I feel like Big Brother has made me become this person where I am giving everybody advice and, and, I, and I love it. I'm like, I don't know, it's like I'm an angel and I've been sent here <laughs> and just to angel. make everything all beautiful and la 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 la. For two points for eviction, I nominate the Logans. Um, I find that David does hardly any cleaning. Um, this was seen last week when I had a chore and he had no chore, but I was doing a significant amount of cleaning, plus I was also doing um, the, like helping other people, whereas he wasn't doing any of the chores and he wasn't assisting with anybody. It made me feel as though David was being a little bit selfish because I didn't know hardly any of the housemates and this made me quite disappointed in him because I thought that he would also want me to be enjoying the fun in the house and I wasn't able to because I was doing a significant amount of the cleaning and he wasn't. I nominate Rita for one point. Um, I find that she can be quite loud at times, particularly at times when I'm trying to sleep. Um, there was a few times last week and even in the morning when I was trying to sleep, um, when our rooms were separated by the task, I was trying to sleep in the other room and all I could hear was her screaming and laughing quite loudly. Um, and in the morning I find that she wakes up quite early and but she's quite loud, like stomping around, opening and closing doors. Um, this affects me because I find that at the moment I am having trouble sleeping and I feel that this is partially due to her um, being quite loud at night. It makes me feel quite angry at her and that she is being selfish and not considering my feelings. Because she's waking me up, I, I feel angry at her because I, I shouldn't I shouldn't need to be telling her all the time to be for or to be telling other people to be quiet at night because I feel as though that they should be considering other people that we are living in a large house together and I feel as though she is she is significantly responsible for me not sleeping at night. Oh, so the newest housemates nominate each other. We have one nomination to go and then the thirsty thunderous thought provoking three point twist. Brother, can we have a ball game night? Can we paint the house? Or, or can I have a laptop or some paper and pens so I can, we can write a little play? And... Yeah. Look, if we could make something. Like, um, you gave us a heap of paddle... Like a sundial. A heap of paddle pop sticks. We had to make a replica of the Big Brother house. As fascinating as this would be for Big Brother to watch, Big Brother will not be supplying any of these items. That's good. That's constructive. Um, OK. This is Christy and Tim. It's, it's time bad. to play hide and seek. One, two, 17, 18. 
36, 37, 49, 50. Ready or not, here he comes. I thought we'd never get rid of her. Now we're going to have a civilised chat, eh? <laughs> Nominations Live, where we're about to see our final housemate nominate. I wonder whose initials Kate will carve in the nomination footpath that, as we all know, leads to eviction night. Time for honesty. Um, what I did, and I'm not happy with what I did, but I told him the whole situation. <laughs> I told them all. No. Told them I all. was angry. Um, yeah. What did they all say? He actually said he didn't know that you liked him. I know. I'm a little bit angry that you're not sorry. You you feel angry that I'm not sorry? Yeah. Like, I know it's how you felt, but at the same time, you know that yeah. what you've done was wrong, and I don't think that you feel... But to me, I felt it was the right thing to do. This is the thing, like, with you, you hate admitting for one second that you might have done something that you shouldn't have. I trusted you, and I feel like you've taken that trust and stepped on it. I think Christy will remain distant. Um, and is that out of stubbornness? Yeah. She believes that she's 100% right. Okay, yeah. I held back a lot, and I probably shouldn't have, and I probably should have just told her exactly how I felt, but I don't think that it would have gone down well because she can't handle taking criticism at all. She might feel satisfied by the story that she gave. Absolutely, and she's satisfied by the results, that she mm -hmm. feels a lot closer to everybody and I'm pushed away. Kate, who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Um, for two points, <laughs> I nominate Rita. I love the fact that she's very high tempoed and very upbeat and positive, but at times I feel like one of her students. Um, a prime example of this is when she says to me, good girl, I feel being an adult and her also being an adult, I know that she is older, however, being told that I'm a good girl when I learn something, I find it extremely belittling. Example of it is when she taught me how to make the bed the nurse's way and once I had made it, which wasn't like the hardest task in the world, she said, good girl, good girl. Another example is when um, I, she was housekeeper last week and now this week I've been given housekeeper and she turned around and said to me, look, um, Kate, I really want, I just want to let you know that the bins need to be emptied. I'm so sorry, you know, I would do them, but I'm not housekeeper anymore and, you know, I'm really, really sorry and, like, I'm happy to help you and rah, rah. And all I need is the bins need to be emptied and it affects me because I don't want to be in this house and I don't want to be treated like a two-year-old. For one point, I nominate Christy. Um, my reason for nominating Christy is double standards. Um, my example of Christy having double standards is the Wednesday family dinner. When we bring up issues, her issue was that when someone has to, um, when someone makes porridge, they have to clean their pot. Now, it only became an issue to her when she got a fine and was made what we call dish pig, which means that they have to do um, the dishes. And it has now been nine weeks since we've been here and it has never once occurred to her that once she has made porridge to put water in and actually make it easy for the person washing it, this affects my time in the house because um, Nobody wants to have to clean up after anybody else and I feel like a lot of the times I am cleaning up after other people and Christy is definitely one of them. Well, that is all our nominators. But the exciting thing is we still have the nomination twist to twirl. But before that, of course, let's cross to the house now 
to hear Big Brother deliver the first of his nomination announcements. Have you changed it, This is Big Brother. <laughs> the housemates facing eviction this week are... Changed it. Yeah. Kate. Rita and the Logans. Wow. Oh my god, I'm not here. I'm oh on my knees. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Damn it, I want to be up. As winners of the Friday Night Games, Logans, <laughs> you have the power to change these nominations. <laughs> that is all. I wonder. I like that. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we still stay up, that's just very bad. Wow. OK, let's check the final tally board. And remember, as cocky as those Logans may seem sitting there, they don't know where the three points will go, what impact they will make, because they don't know how many everybody's got. But we do. There it is. Kate has been joined by the Logans and Rita on four points. Those three are the nominees before the three-point twist. Dean and Tim dodged any further points and remain tied on three. Just one point behind on two points are Christy, Melanie and Vesna. So any of those top three will be saved if the Logans deduct their three points from them. But as always with our twist, the twisty bit is that Dean and Tim will move into the nomination frame. Thoughts? It's what a knockout. Um, I think it's going to be a real tough one for the Logans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Who do you think they'll take the points away from? I'm going, with a, I'm going with a bit of a feeling. I think they're going to take the points off themselves. I know it's out there, I'm just throwing it out, and I, I think they're going to take the points off well, themselves. Well, we have to remember, Kate took the points off Christy, who wasn't really a friend of hers in the house. No, and that's what... That really made you suspicious, didn't it? Did. It? it really did. That's when you first decided she was a manipulator and a strategist. It was. You don't think the Logans are such? Um, no, they definitely are. Oh, they they definitely, definitely are? Oh, they're playing the game. They're definitely playing the game. Why do you say they're definitely playing the game? Well... Look, there's two of them. If you like Greg, um, you're not going to vote for Dave because you're voting for Greg. If you like Dave, you're not going to vote for Greg because you're, um, you know, obviously the opposite. Except for one thing, they're nominated. Yeah, exactly. But they take the three points off. That's why I, st I, I would have, I would have nominated them um, a couple of weeks actually. But they had the power to take points off and didn't waste my nominations with them. I can't believe you think Rita talks a lot. You go on, then, uh, don't stop it. on. So that's where the points stand right at this moment. But stay tuned because coming up, we'll be seeing if the three point twist saves or enslaves. <laughs> Like Dean, big brother. I don't know, I honestly don't know what it is. Oh, Back home again. Would you look at this? Thanks, Hayes, yeah. man. Right, Cheers, dude. Oh, what? Thanks, Hayes. What would you do for a million bucks? live where all the housemates have nominated including our two brand new ones Rita and Melanie and we are about to watch the Logans apply their three point twist. Now in the past this twist has saved the rewards winner from nomination. It has got the previously unnominated nominated and it has got the rewards winner nominated as well. I wonder what magic the three points will weave this evening. Let's cross back to the house to see where the Logans will point their wand. Remember the nickname when you're trying this to find is Big Brother. Is it? Kate, Rita and the Logans, you are all nominated for eviction. As the winners of the Friday Games, Logans, you have the power to change nominations. Logans to the diary room. Yeah. Okay. I always put in a thing of where I'm at. Oh. Oh. oh, dear. I was like thinking, oh, you look like fools if you're still up. <laughs> Oh, you get that. Logan. Big brother. Big brother. Who do you choose to deduct three points from and potentially save? Rita, Kate, or yourselves? Um, to, probably uh, ourselves. The, the Logans. <laughs> Logans, return to the lounge and say nothing of this to your housemates. Twizzy. <laughs> I reckon it's just... Strategy. Hey? Strategy. Well, that's a very big surprise. 
Huge surprise. Yeah, isn't it? Let's have a look at the tally board. Have we got the magical tally board? Let's talk about what a surprise it is. There we are. All right, so the Logans are on four, Kate is on four, and Rita is on four. Now, if we take three points away from the Logans, we then see that now we have four people nominated. Kate on four, Rita on four, Dean on three, and Tim on three. Hot dogs, what do you think about that? Fascinating. <laughs> right? Yes, I don't know, I don't know. I don't think much about it. But I'm those really boys out. were saying that they really wanted to be nominated because they thought it would be exciting. Yeah, well, they were nominated and they, didn't want, to be, they, didn't, want to, they didn't want to be part of the eviction process. Tell me, inside the house, are people starting to think about the money and or what remains of it and the fact that, that one of them is going to win all of that money and win I, Big Brother? I think they are because we've got that fine now that if you, if you get a fine, you're, you've got to feed the farm animals and you've got to do the lunchtime dishes. So I think they are starting to think about so the money. So you're starting to punish start each to other. Start dwindle and thinking, hey, at the end of this, I want a bit of money, a bit of coin. And, um, yeah, I think the Logans have got their eyes on it. Who do you reckon really thinks they're going to win inside the house? I, the Logans are just so cocky. I think they think they're going to win. Well, that will be interested. interesting because they're nominated tonight. You are, of course, a winner being here with us tonight. Yeah. Thank you. A thank big you thank you to Hot Dog. Web chat at 10.40 tonight. Will be. And then, of course, you're on Up Late. Looking forward to it. With Mike Goldman and the stupid wig he's wearing this <laughs> evening. <laughs> All right, let's cross back to the house for Big Brother's announcement. Devil, he's oh, the oh, this that. is Big Brother. Yeah, that's As a winner of the Friday Night Games, the Logans have exercised the third part of their prize. Mm -hmm. Three points has been deducted from one of you. The new nominees for this week are Kate... Rita and Dean and Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that is all. Oh my god, I'm coming! <laughs> It's they? exciting, it is exciting. Tight. Okay, different reactions there. Big Brother's dulcet tones have rung inside the house and now it's time for you to decide for whom the eviction bell tolls. So to evict Dean, call 1902 555561 or text Dean to 191010. To evict Kate, call 1902 555563 or text Kate to 191010. To evict Rita, call 1902 555579 or text Rita to 191010. Or to evict Tim, call 1902 555573 or text Tim to 191010. Now, Legion Interactive calls cost 55 cents and more from mobiles. Lines close at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time this Sunday night. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.3mobile.com.au. All right, it is all up to you. As we always say, vote for the Big Brother house you want to watch, not the one you want to live in. And I will see you all in an hour's time for the show that you want to watch, but I don't want to be in Big Brother Uncut. <laughs> I'm Greta Colleen. This is Big Brother Live Nominations, where you always have the power. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Teasing. Must be close now. Yeah, I'd say it'd be spread pretty evenly by now. Who wants some? Yeah, I'll have a little bit. It's the showdown you've been waiting for. But is this how it ends? If you miss this, you don't have a TV. Who's this now, huh? The season finale of OC, 8.30 Tuesday. Coming up, brand new Law and Order. Thanks, Thanks, I don't know. Come on. Use their muscles, come on. This program brought to you from Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.